Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disneyland and I am so excited. Last night I had the honor of attending the Disney 100 Royal Anniversary Ball at Walt Disney Studios in Burbank, California and it was unbelievably amazing and I cannot wait to talk about it later on in the video but right now we only have one day to spend inside Disneyland so I want to try to celebrate Disney 100 the best way possible. So we're going to ride some rides eat some food and have a beautiful Disneyland kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I still get chills every single time I visit this park. It is beautiful and look at that. There's even snow on the castle already. It's not even Halloween and it's snowing in uh, Disneyland. I kind of like it though. And also, I like that omnibus. The Royal Anniversary Ball was so amazing. And like I said, I still can't believe that I got to be able to be there, be at Walt Disney Studios, at Walt's office, and just being in the spot where so much history took place and celebrating the 100th anniversary. It was unforgettable. I didn't make a video like a vlog, but I did take some video clips. And I think at the end of the video, I think I might sit down and actually recap my experiences with you, show you some of the stuff that I did record and just kind of talk about it because it was so, it was beautiful. It was so amazing. Amazing. And if you want to check Instagram, uh, I did post some of the pictures already on there. You just can go and uh, find me. It's paging Mr. Morrow. But now we're going to head in and just enjoy the park and, like I said, celebrate 100 years of the Walt Disney Company. You know what? I think I'm going to take the Omnibus up to the castle. I love riding any of the Main Street transportation. Look at this. Ah, oh, isn't she a beaut? So that is the Main Street Opera House teaching great moments with Mr. Lincoln. The show actually began at the New York World's Fair in 1964 and would arrive here to Disneyland on July 18th, 1965. This show is a treasure. Not only was it the first show to feature a human audio electronic figure, but it was actually directed by Walt himself. Oh. And just beyond it is the Disney's Castle and your entrance for Fantasyland. On your left, you will find Frontierland and Adventureland. It is through those lands you will find New Orleans Square, Kinder Country, and Galaxy's Edge. Also, well, folks, our trip is very quickly coming to an end. Please remain seated so the bus is stopped completely. Look around for your personal belongings and watch your steps. If you are upstairs, please take your time and use the handrails as you come down. I do thank you for riding and have a great and wonderful stay here at Walt's Original Magic Kingdom. I was thinking about getting the Genie Plus so that I can use Lightning Lane and skip all the lines today, but it is $30. $30 for the day, and that's the most expensive I think I've seen it at Disney World or Disneyland. So I'm going to see how we do without the Lightning Lane for a little bit, and if I do have to buy it, I'm going to buy it because I'm going to ride as many rides as I can. And we're celebrating the 100th anniversary kind of today, even though it was yesterday, but we're celebrating uh, Walt Disney as a whole here at Disneyland. I think we should make our way to the Matterhorn and that be our first ride of the day. I love this ride and a lot of times I usually pick it as the first ride of the day because I love it so much. We got super lucky and we're on the left side and I'm sitting in the front cart. Oh! oh. Honestly, my back doesn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. You couldn't have asked for a better way to start out the day. Matterhorn was so fun. And like I said, I feel great. I didn't break my back. I'm ready to go. And we might as well keep it going. I mean, I just want to ride as many rides as I can today. And I think we're going to make our way over to Alice in Wonderland. The wait for Alice in Wonderland was only 30 minutes, but that's not too bad because this ride doesn't have a lightning lane. And if you do want to ride, uh, you just got to wait it out. 
trust me, it's worth it. It's one of my favorite rides to ride, especially dark rides. It's definitely one of my favorite dark rides. Wow, look at the Matterhorn. This is beautiful. might be my favorite dark ride like of all time like up there with mr toad i love how you go outside and i just love all of the colors in there and the music it's so it's amazing but we're gonna keep moving along go meet up with some friends and uh, grab something to eat maybe we need to get some lunch we were on our way over to Adventureland when I noticed my favorite place to get something to eat uh, at Bengal Barbecue actually has new food. It has pulled pork sliders and I needed to stop and try them. I love this place so much. I get the skewers all the time. And don't you worry, later on tonight, I'm going to be back to actually eat here because I always close out the night getting uh, some skewers from Bengal Barbecue. But I wanted to show you guys the pulled pork sliders. Look at these. Wow, and it's $16 and it came with coleslaw, potato salad, and potato chips. Look at that, a little bit better lighting here. I love it, and of course I, I got one little safari skewer to snack on, but this looks so good. Bengal Barbecue is always gonna be one of my all-time favorite like places to grab food in Disneyland or in any Disney parks. And the pulled pork sliders, like that's just a great addition. I hope, I wanna see more though. I wanna see a lot more, I wanna see more skewers. I mean, you can't beat the uh, asparagus, the bacon wrapped asparagus. I literally get five of them. They're so good and the chicken's pretty good too. But I just wanna see a lot more because I will try everything. Right outside Bengal Barbecue is Jungle Cruise, and it's only a 20 minute wait. And they're doing free excursions today, so I think I actually might ride it. And I like uh, this ride's queue. This is my first time doing Jungle Cruise here uh, in Disneyland, so I wonder if it's any different. I am so excited, actually. I'm super pumped. This actually might be really cool. Holy moly, this queue is amazing. I want to know how we get upstairs, though. Wow, I really love that we're actually on like a second floor here looking down on Adventureland. Oh, we got the front of the boat. 
He was such a great skipper. Honestly, that was an amazing ride. Huh, I'm so glad we did it. Wow. Honestly, I think it's way better than uh, Walt Disney World's uh, Jungle Cruise. I think, it, I mean, I like the fact that they have piranhas and they have other animals. And uh, I think they even have funnier jokes. I think it's their source material though. We might as well just follow the band. Look at this. Now we can go. That is actually pretty cool how we followed the Disneyland band right on over to Pirates. And now we're going to go ride Pirates. And then uh, then we're going to go get some lunch. But since we're over here, what was it, like a 20 minute wait? Yeah, but we've only waited like 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So can't pass it up. Eight minutes. Look at that. And we're already inside. Nine minutes in. Whoa. Another reason I love coming to the West Coast is to see my brother, my family. You guys, I'm so happy and we're gonna have lunch together, so I'm excited. 
I know. I have been hanging out with Gary, Debbie, and Kathy for just about two years now. I think the first time we met was at uh, D23 uh, with Roosevelt's. And now, honestly, me and Gary, like I said, he's like my brother. He, he gets so excited just like I do, and he gets a little twinkle in his eye. And it's always nice coming out here. So now I think we're going to grab a Dole Whip and maybe uh, one of my favorite little snacks in Disneyland. Welcome to the Tropical Hideaway. We're gonna get some Dole Whip. They have some seasonal flavors, but also I'm excited to get a bao bun. They have the best bao buns here. I mean, there's only two spots that I have to eat at every single time that I come to Disneyland, and it's here at the Tropical Hideaway and then at Bengal Barbecue. But I like coming here a lot too because you get a sweet treat and then a nice little savory one. And they have Topo Chico right there. I'm gonna be grabbing one of those. The flavors of the day. Well, the flavors for today are mango, pineapple, and strawberry. And then uh, they've got a chili uh, mango whip. Oh, oh yeah, watch your step there. Oh, look at those. Oh, and we gotta get the Topo Chico's. Where are they? <gasps> My heart. There's no Topo Chico's here. Maybe they got them in the back. We got sun chips over here, Funyuns. I don't know what else they oh bake the lays you don't say yeah. I'm a little sad I really wanted to get my Topa Chico but that's okay they have them other places in the park so I'm sure we'll get one eventually but I also got the mango strawberry dough wet because I, I wanted to match up my friend uh, Kathy because she says that this is the one right this is the one so I'm gonna give it a go give it a try All right, Gary what'd you get Pineapple. Pineapple? Delicious. Yeah? yeah That's the one? Give yeah, give us a real. How's that pineapple Dole Whip? Tasting delicious. A nice complimental at a dessert. Yep. Nice That's the one. That's the one. But uh, we were just sitting here talking about uh, different space mountains and which one's smoother. And earlier I was talking about Matterhorn and how it literally will break my back. I have to sit, I have to go on the left side. The right side, done. Done. We made our way over to the Haunted Mansion Holiday. I have to come say hi to my good old pal Jack. I am so excited for this. I know I've already ridden it a couple of times, but coming at night, look at it all lit up and stuff. It's beautiful. The time has come. Gather now, gather in the dead center.
I got some gingerbread men. I'm glad that we got to go on the Haunted Mansion holiday when we did because it was like so awesome. The car, well the doom buggy kept on stopping at like the best spots. And I got to like spend an extended amount of time and just like looking at the details. I love that. And now we made our way to the train station because we uh, decided we want to go on a little train ride uh, to the back of the park. Boogie Boogie Bash is happening at the moment over at DCA. And here comes our train, coming into station. Ooh! Coming up on uh, Toontown. Oh, we should do Casey Jr. too. Yeah, Casey Jr. We literally came all the way back here. We took the train literally to come ride uh, Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin. And I couldn't be happier about it. I do not like spinning on this ride. Uh, I it's like the teacups for me. I just like going for the ride. I don't want all the spin, so none of that. Oh, yeah, it does. Look at that. A license plate on the wall says Mr. Toad. Oh, there's a Dalmatian, 101 Dalmatian, too. walking around the park I kind of caught the lights of the carousel and I was like wait do you guys want to ride the carousel so now we're gonna ride the carousel and it's amazing how low the wait times are for like all the attractions right now it's like 10 30 and like we're walking on everything call me old-fashioned but I just love a carousel you guys ready you gotta do it like walk Whoa. Whoa. Is, you gotta do it like Walt. Ooh. Oh 
Oh wow, look at That carousel was one of the best decisions I think I've ever made. Man, that was so magical. With the second star to the right playing, oh, wow. That was beautiful. I hope it came out good on video too, but I loved it. It was nice to ride the carousel, but uh, yeah, we gotta go get something to eat now. And uh, one of my favorite spots is open late, Bengal Barbecue. Time to get some asparagus and some grilled veggies. Can always count on my good old Bengal barbecue for a late night stack over in Adventureland. Seriously, if they had this back home, I probably would come way more to Magic Kingdom to get something to eat because I love, I love Bengal barbecue. It's literally just so simple. It's grilled meats and grilled veggies. Like it's the perfect little park snack. I feel like on skewers. Look at that. Isn't it perfect? Look at all of the asparagus. Look at that. And then all the veggies right there. This is the perfect late night snack right here. Honestly, I love these veggie skewers so much. Look at the peppers, the zucchini, the squash, but nothing tops the asparagus, bacon wrapped asparagus. It's just so good. It's the best thing. All is right now. I also did get a chicken skewer and this one looks pretty good. I don't like a lot of sauce on it though. I should have asked light sauce. I think I just got that sauce all over the brim of my hat. Here you go. Luckily for us, Indiana Jones is directly across from Bengal Barbecue, so we are gonna go ride it. Looks like we're gonna be in the front row on this one. Who's gonna be the driver though? Get us out of here, Kristen. <laughs> Are you there? Come in. You have only to take Kristen, steer. Hello, hello. Oh, my friend. The brakes may be needing a little adjustment. Oh. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! 
time. You wear blindfolds, okay? <laughs> Yo, I was getting tossed around. And with that, we are done here today. This has been one of the best weeks of my life and I'm honored to be able to share this with you. Oh, thanks, hey man. And, and thank you so much. I, I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. I love the Plaza one and then here at Disneyland. I wish I was able to make a video for the anniversary uh, for uh, Disney, the 100th anniversary, but you know, it just wasn't the time and the place for me. I just felt so in the, like, in the moment. And uh, like I said, you can check out the pictures though. I did post a lot of those on the Instagram. And uh, yeah, it's time to head home, see Gracie Girl, and make my way back to Florida. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. I keep looking away because this place is just so amazing. I'm watching the Main Street Transportation come up right now to the castle at midnight. Look at that. Seriously, it is 12.08. It's 12.08 a.m. That's amazing. What a magical place. Oh, I love this. I love Disneyland so much. And now we are back in Florida. And just like I said in the beginning of the video, I wanted to sit down and recap you uh, guys on my uh, trip. Or actually, uh, talk about the ball and also the whole entire like trip that I have been on. Because I've been on the road since... New York Comic Con actually well yeah I just got home now and it just you know I, I didn't plan for all this to happen it just all fell in line that way all these amazing things are going on at the same time so I had to fly up to New York I did my stay at the plaza and then I did New York Comic Con New York Comic Con was amazing so many people came out and I got to meet so many of you guys thank you guys so much and uh, that day actually I left New York Comic Con we did Mosh Eisley and I was at Mosh Eisley you know late it was a it was an emo show it was an emo night and I had to catch my flight to LAX in the morning and I flew from Los Angeles well I flew from New York to Los Angeles my flight was at like I think it was there like 9 a.m. and then I landed in LAX two hours before the ball started like I had two hours to kind of adjust on how I was going to you know, switch over, especially getting jet lag, because I went from New York to Los Angeles, and then immediately into one of the most elegant and amazing events I've ever been to in my life. So we got there, and uh, the ball was amazing. Uh, I wanted to, I started to, I started to actually make a video, like a, a YouTube video, because I wanted to kind of show it off, and it was such an amazing event. And then I got literally up to the front part where we were going in, and I was just like, wow. I realized at that moment that, you know, my love for Disney and like, <laughs> just being in that like being at Walt Disney Studios uh, for the Disney 100 ball like sunk in on me and I was like like I was like literally like just I got teary-eyed I was emotional I was like wow I can't believe I'm here and I was like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make a video I was so captivated and everything I've never felt more just like walking around with my eyes wide open not even paying attention just like like tunnel vision and it was great I, I got to socialize so much and I was speaking to so many people you know uh, <laughs> like idols of mine like heroes of mine people I admire in life I've I got to like socialize and hang out with so I was just like all right I'm not gonna uh, focus on making a video and I know that that's like not I just wanted to really enjoy the moment because I was so captivated and I kind of I kind of feel like I let you down because I could have showed more you know what I mean but I don't think I could have made a whole video out of it so I did make I did take a couple of clips and I'll put them in order uh, but it ends probably very abruptly but at least it gives you a closer look of what the ball was like and it was I mean, like I said it was amazing and uh, if you ever want to like get uh, really awesome opportunities to go to places like this uh, just join the d23 the the fan club honestly they have so many awesome events Marceline and I do this as a fan I am a fan that's what d23 is it's the largest Disney fan club and uh, I feel like a lot of people forget like first and foremost I love Disney I love going to the parks I love the history I love collecting 
props and everything about it and uh yeah like that's just like my thing so like even though i got to go out there and i got to make this video that was more of a a personal trip for me that I got to really enjoy and uh, yeah it was fun so I'll put all of the clips together and uh, yeah I'll just put it in right after this and uh, we'll uh, let you see a little bit so anyways hope you enjoyed the end of the video talk to you later bye oh and also, uh, you guys are probably confused with the timeline because uh, you were like, wait, he's in New York, he's in Los Angeles, wait, he's in a plane, he's flying a plane. Uh, yeah, well, I knew that I was going to be under the gun from New York to Los Angeles, and I knew I wasn't going to have a lot of time to edit and be able to put out some of the videos. So I shot my, uh, fly, my flying experience uh, before I went to New York, and then I saved it so that I can put it out in between so that way I didn't have to go a long period of time without any videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was really fun. Was, I learned how to fly a plane. I flew a plane over Walt Disney World. Well, over the allowed uh, 3,000 uh, feet, you know what I mean, space. But it's a really cool video. You guys should check that out after this. But now, okay, now I'll put up the Royal Ball. I just wanted to let you know what the timeline is. The timeline. What is this, the MCU? This is just so amazing right now. Look at us walking through the, the lot all dressed up gary's here i'm so excited they rolled out the purple carpet and everybody is dressed to the tens and i just can't believe i'm here we are at walt disney studios celebrating the 100th anniversary with a royal ball i feel like this is like a straight from a movie i'm so excited oh ho, ho, ho. look at this Wow. Welcome in for the night, everyone. Have a great evening. Lots of photo activations up ahead and available throughout the whole night. Oh. There's another one down there. Champagne to start? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Cheers. Do you know what it is? It's champagne. Just blue champagne. Get Fancy. The party started. Getting the party started. Hi, how are ya? Cheers. Wow, this is the way to start a beautiful night. Look at us. On the purple carpet. Listening to uh, Aladdin. I've never felt better in my life than right now. Oh wow, Mickey and Minnie are out actually taking photos and there's a huge line, but they're dressed up in their very best. And then, oh, look at this. Cinderella. Oh my lord. And the fairy godmother. Oh wow. Hi, how are ya? Since we're celebrating a hundred years, they have awesome food stands and they are divided up by the decades. And uh, we're starting off with the 1920s with Walt's hometown and uh, they uh, have a Dusty Miller Sunday from Marceline. Look at that. Ah, oh, fancy. Thank you. Hey, Sean, it's a uh, Sunday from Marceline. Dusty Miller. We were there. Yeah. Remember? I have got one now. I will get one now. Wow, look at how beautiful that is up there. Is Holy moly. All of this is just amazing. I'm honestly just... It's, it's mind-blowing that I'm here right now. And actually, like, this is me here. Snow White and Dopey are actually out too. And so many more. Holy moly. Can I have this dance? Now, I'd like to invite to the stage some very special uh, guests. 
who have made some incredible contributions to Disney's past, present, and future. But first, Mickey and Minnie, you want to give me a hand out here? Please welcome Disney legends, Wing Chow, the mastermind of Walt Disney Imagineering, working on the parks around the world, California, Florida, Tokyo, Hong Kong, Paris, and so many others. Looking very dapper tonight. Bob Gurr, a man on the move. Creating iconic attractions, you know, Autopia, the monorail, Matterhorn bobsleds. Love all of those. The legendary Don Hahn. That's for my many animated greats. Thank you, Don, for being here tonight. Voice of Mickey Mouse, Brett Iwan. And the voice of Mickey Mouse, Caitlin Robrak. Thank you for your dedication to creating wonderful stories and adventures for all of us and for all of our fans. We admire you here this evening and around the world. Thank you very much for being with us. Yeah. Cheers, we're holding glasses. Look at okay, us, guys. See you, Gary. See you a little bit. Wow. Here we go. Once upon a studio. Well, cheers, guys. So Walt Disney Studios, 100 years. 100 years. Look at where we are right now. Look at that sign. Crazy. Uh, all right, that's, that's actually adorable. I have not seen one of those in like I'm mildly terrified of this, but it's very cute. 